Hey everybody, what's going on? Kane Flash here, guys, and today, everybody, I have a theory video that I like to share with you guys. And you guys know the latest blog post that came out, a visual tour of Zone 3, released by the Hightail team. They had a bunch of different pictures of Zone 3 and a little thing about Outlanders. And there's something about what they said about the Outlanders that I want to take over today and talk about. So, in this picture right here, it says, Outlander camps are imposing and a bristle with defensive features like high walls and watchtowers. But who are they attempting to keep at bay? That is the main important thing that they, I want to talk about in this video. It's who or what the Outlanders are going to be keeping at bay. So guys, as we know, we already saw, um, you guys know, you saw the video of the visual tour right here. You know there is, right here in the first picture, there is a wolf. Um, in the wolf, uh, you guys know wolves are obviously a part of zone 3, and I do believe that obviously one of the first things that the Outlanders are going to be keeping out is going to be the wolves, but that's not the main thing that the wolves are going to be keeping out, because when you take a look at the media picture in Hightail, you can take a look at one of the concept arts, and you see this guy who controls wolves and all that stuff, um, he's really cool, and who I think this is, this is a real, uh, I'm just throwing this out, I'm not sure if it's true, but I think he is going to be a fawn. And if you guys don't know what the fawn is, you can go look at the iconography research, look, take, pick the word fawn, put it into Google, and it'll show you. It says, the fawn, Latin uh, fawns, ancient Greek, is a mythological half-human, half-goat creature appearing in ancient Rome. Um, I'm not going to fully say that this picture right here is a full half-human, half-goat, but your boy does have goat ears. He ha it kind of looks like he's got hooves. I don't think he's half human, but it, it, it's a game. You can't really just take the full-on representation of what a fawn looks like. So, this, I think the, um, like, this is probably the closest picture of this all the way to this. I think that the Outlanders are going to be keeping the fawns at bay. I believe that the fawns do control the wolves, as you can see in this picture right here. I'm just throwing this out here. I'm not sure if this is facts at all, but hey, it is. It is pretty cool. I have to say, if this is actually a type of concept that the Outlanders and the Fawns have like a war, just like the Sarax and the Farons have a war too. Um, so that's everything I have to say for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's not a long one, and I'm really sorry for that, but I'm just trying to get, you know, content out every couple days. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoy this theory, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm on the road to 600 subscribers. I know it's not a lot. Hey, but it's a start. You never, you never know what might happen in the future. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Join my Discord. Link will be in the description. And also follow my Twitter. Yeah, do that too. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.